Que hundas tu chancho arriba las manos Cabacho, moreno, penetra tu barrio El señor va a rodar cero rock Back frente, plástico en esto pa' la gente Chantlazo, deep, la entregadazo Still got the coke and rum and flex the brazo Then I hit you from a different angle Hey everybody, welcome back. So today in this video, we're gonna do something very special that I really, really enjoy. It's gonna be something called short ribs. I bet you, uh, you guys like that. So in the meantime, I'm gonna do, um, it's kind of like a chimichurri sauce, but with a little spin, that's the way I do it. And uh, I'll, you will see what, what, what I'm gonna do right now. So. Also, I'm gonna I'm gonna do some chicken too. Just throw a little bonus on that because uh, I've been asked please more chicken recipes. But the focus in this video today is the short ribs. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, I'll start and I'll show you. Ready? They get all the stuff ready here, all the prep, and then we're gonna go ahead and move outside to the grill. Okay? All right, guys. So let's go ahead and do this. So I have here. Uh, fresh parsley, okay? What I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna go right here, right half to that, and then uh, fold this thing here in half. And let's go ahead, chop this guy a little bit. What I like to do is just flip the whole thing again here, and go again. Wow, the smell of the parsley is incredible. Bring it back here. As you see, it's gonna start getting thinner and thinner. <clears throat> and then, just a couple of passes again. Please do me a favor, when you do this, you don't have to do it this fast, this pace. Just slow down, watch your fingers, okay? Okay, so, here's your parsley. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, right here in this bowl. All right. Wow. Smells very, very nice. Now, what I like to do is grab a little cilantro. Do the same scenario here. Move it right here. And then I do just like a little, little package here. Here we go, see? And then, uh, here we go. Bring it this way here, do it again. And this is something that what we do is because this, what it does is, while you're cooking the meat, I'll show you. You can throw some of this on top, but when as the meat is done and ready to go, you can go ahead and use this and put on top of your meat. And I have to tell you, people really enjoy this. So let's go ahead and grab our bowl here. I'll show you from here. I got two cloves of garlic right here. What I like to do is press this a little bit here. Here we go. And chop this guys very fine. Fresh garlic, always. One right here. You put that right there. That's all the secret here. Now, we're gonna do salt, okay? Go ahead and put some salt in here. And you can taste and check if you need more salt, is it not for you, whatever. Here we go. Here goes your oil. Now remember, I do by the same ratio, oil, Vinegar. She 
should be fine. Now, the next thing you do is you grab this guy here, okay? Look at this. I want you to take a look what's happening here. Look at this. I wish you can smell it. So what you're gonna do is you mix this very well. You can put a little pepper if you want. I normally don't do it. Just like that. And what I like to do, like a little bit more. Yeah. And then over here, Let's go ahead and mix this very well. There we go. Now that's it. that's what I'm looking for. You don't want it too dry, okay? As soon as you're done here, you put this guy in the fridge. You want this thing right immediately in the fridge because all the flavors now is gonna start get blending here together and getting ready to go, okay? So that's what happens. Now, I wanna show you now is my ribs. Look at this, look at this bad boys in here, guys. Take a quick look. Wow, wow, wow. So, on these ribs, what I like to do, okay, is just, just salt, plain salt, before I put them in the grill, here we go. Mm -hmm. And then, I bring them here to the bowl and mix them. For the salt, for the flavor. I did rinse these ribs, okay, through water. They're nice and clean. You want fraction of bones in there. And then the next thing I want to show you really quick is what I'll do here with this chicken, chicken breast. So I like to go ahead and start here right here in the end, right here in this view, and you gotta go in an angle. Take a look, see, that's what you're looking for. Then you flip it, rotate it, you go right here. Then you rotate it, you go right here. You rotate it, you go right here. And keep rotating, okay? Don't be afraid. And that's it. Now, what I like to do here, if you take a quick look, one, Two, three, and keep going. One after another one. If they're a little loose, just bring it back here to it, and boom, here we go. Now, the here in the bottom, one here in the top, and now it's, it's flat. And then you bring this one here, and right here, pretty much this, nice and steady. And then you do this one here, this one here, okay? So take a quick look, see, that's what happens. Now the next thing that I do here, rinse my hands off guys. Yes, I do grab my seasoning salt, flip it, seasoning salt. Now you can, all okay, so you can go ahead and also cut the chicken, put it in a bowl of seasoning and put it back in here. It really don't matter guys. Um, there's you seasoning salt, garlic salt, for each way, okay, we good. And then, let's go back to, you know who, is you go yes a zone. Here we go, flip it here, flip it here, and that's it, pretty much that's it here. Okay, so what we're gonna do now is, I'm gonna move to the grill. We're gonna grill this meat, and I'll show you when everything is done, and uh, we'll go from there. Thank you. Well guys, we're outside here in the grill now and uh, we're ready to go ahead and put our meats, okay? Let's go. So first thing I'm gonna do is gonna be the ribs. Uh, we wanna go right here, right here, right there. And then slowly you put them in here. Now keep in mind, you wanna lower um, right now, I just want them to get a little, a little crunch in there, and then after that, you gotta go ahead and lower um, your fire. And the reason why is because there's a lot of grease in there, and that's gonna 
jump. Now, here we go. Here's another one. And uh, what we're gonna do is, we are one of this half an onion, and put them right here. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, lower this a little bit. There we go. And then what you wanna do is check this every two minutes, make sure that everything's okay, and then you start flipping, okay? Chicken's gonna take an average of four minutes for each side, at least three to four minutes. This bad boy is gonna take a little longer. And the reason why is because they're short ribs. So you're probably looking at five minutes, six minutes each side, but we do have to rotate because we have another each side, right? I have to do the back. We wanna make sure it's cooked all the way through, okay? All right, so here we go. Okay guys, so it's been four minutes that we put all this stuff in here. So let's go ahead and take the chicken out. So we're gonna go ahead and flip this here. All right, here we go. And here we go. That's what you're looking for right there. Your color, beautiful. Got our onion still here going. That's what we're looking for. Still got a long way to go. Put this meat here. There we go. trying to do is cover every side and let it cook in there right there so we're gonna do another four minutes and then we'll be back well guys uh, another four minutes went by so I want to show you what's happening here Take a look. so now one of the things that I like to do, I don't know if you remember, when we make the sauce early today, here we go. Take a look at the color of these things. Look, incredible, huh? So what I want to like to show you is, um, one of the things that I like to do here is um, the sauce that we made early today, um, I like to, not on the ribs, but on the chicken, I'm gonna put a little bit. And what it does, it brings those flavors. Take a quick look what's happening. Watch. Okay. Okay. So what we're gonna do now, we're gonna let this sit in here for another four minutes. Okay? See, look at that, that's what we're looking for. See that, that's what we're looking for. Okay? And what I do is move this here and the ribs, as you still see, see a little blood, a little bloody. So we want to go ahead and make sure we still got a little bit to go with the ribs. One of the things here, uh, you have to be patient with these guys and keep moving them around, okay? Take your time with that. Have fun, enjoy. This is what's it's cooking. You're at home. You're having fun. Enjoy it. So we're going to go ahead and close this. And the next time that I show you this, we're going to be inside. It's ready to serve, okay? So I'll show you in a couple of minutes. Well, guys, we're back. So um, I'm ready pretty much to show you uh, what happened here, what's going on. So here we go. There's your ribs. There's your chicken. Remember the onion that I showed you early? That's what we do with that. So 
one of the things I was going to tell you guys is um, when you are, let me get set up in here. When you are doing this, the way we do it, okay, so I'll show you, put it right here for you guys, is we like to do is go ahead and um, just use this. Let's got a rib here, put them right here. And then what we like to do is, is you grab some of this, all right? Let's put some in there. Watch this. And then um, let's see what happens. As you see, they're perfectly cooked. That are well done. I don't have nothing else to say. It's something if you do and take your time. It's an excellent dish. You will you really enjoy this. Just take your time, do it right. And um, I was gonna show you what this right here. So, Go. and this is the chicken that I don't want to left out that we did. And that's pretty much it. All right, so, hey, if you like my videos, please subscribe, like, leave a comment down below. And then um, I'll answer everybody. Thank you very much. We'll see you in the next one.